Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort. Today, we are going to do something amazing. We're playing as the most famous, the best, the ultimate, the biggest film director in GTA 5, guys. His name is DJ Mike T. Now, this guy doesn't actually smile too much. I mean, you would think he would, given his life, guys. We've got two mansions. We've got a studio where we film all the movies. I'll show all of that later on in the video, guys. But this guy doesn't smile, believe it or not. I've tried so many things, guys. I tried to give him food. I got him a cheeseburger. You know, I tried tried to do so many amazing things, but he still won't smile. So, <laughs> we're going to try and do something together, guys. If you want to see Mr. DJ Mike T, not even joking, that's actually his name, by the way, guys. <laughs> if you want to see him smile, drop a like on the episode right now. Let's try and get this guy smiling, because right now, he's never cracked a smile, guys, believe it or not. <laughs> Have you dropped a like on the episode? Oh, wait, hang on. No, he's kind of cracking a smile. Oh, that's kind of scary. Mike, uh, don't smile anymore, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, you're not meant to be smiling in this game. Anyway, guys, the plan for today is to make a movie. But before we do that, and before we go to the studio, I need to show you guys around his house. Because trust me, I took a look around it earlier, and it is ginormous, guys. He's got his own super yacht parked outside his house. I mean, come on. He's even got his own island. I mean, check this out. If we look at his house, we're on an island, guys. He has his own island in Los Santos. Going inside the house, um, as you can see, it's very open space. We like the design of life, you know, open space. You know, we can see everything. Uh, I got my guitar over there if I want to play the guitar. My golf clubs over there as well. A settee just in case you want to sit down and stare at the wall, guys. You know, it's whatever you want to do. So moving through the house, I actually have my private safe over here. I haven't seen inside it. He won't let me, he won't let me inside, unfortunately, but we do have a safe. Oh, we can go inside. Oh, DJ Mike, he must trust you guys. <laughs> Let's go down here and take a look. So this is the underground base for DJ Mike T. Oh my days, dude, this is crazy. <laughs> what are you doing? You've literally got artwork from famous museums. Oh my days, Mike. <laughs> this is like another life he has. You guys haven't seen this. You guys ain't seen anything. We're a movie producer. I promise, guys. We have a studio and everything. We have a kitchen overlooking the sea and the private beach. We've also got a bar as well, guys. You know, a really nice cooker. Um, Actually, to be honest, considering you're a movie producer and a multi-millionaire, this is... I mean, look at that fridge. It's so old. And the cooker as well. Mike, you've really got your priorities weirdly mixed up, buddy. <laughs> You've got a huge house and not enough things to fill the house with. Oh, this is disappointing, guys. So moving into this room, you know, this room's quite big. It's my favorite room out of all of them, guys. I mean, check it out. We have our own garage. Look at this, guys. Any vehicle parts, any tool, anything you guys can think of, DJ Mike T's got it. It's our little hobby of ours. We make movies in the day and we fix up cars in the night. Oh, that reminds me. We actually have quite a nice car to show off in today's episode, guys. Can you guess what it is? I'll call the maids to bring it over, guys. We'll, we'll check it out a bit later on, but it should be here a bit later. <laughs> Anyway, moving on this way, guys, there's two rooms. One of them takes you into this, which is just a lounge, you know? There's a lounge area, there's a place where you can hang out outside in the jacuzzi, have a barbecue, you know, have a meal. I love this part as well. This part's actually a fire. You know, you can light the fire and stuff, and it just appears between these two grids. It's really cool. It's really amazing, guys. And yeah, if you want to watch TV or just hang out with some friends, this is the place to do so. You know, this has the best view of the entire island. I must say so myself. And then all the way at the top is my helicopter, guys. The golden helicopter. In case we need to get anywhere quickly, we can take the helicopter and fly away, guys. But I need to see if my maid has delivered the vehicle. I, I would love to use that instead. I mean, I think you guys are going to enjoy the vehicle more than the helicopter. So let's see if she's delivered the vehicle. Let's go. Oh, Mike, watch out, dude. That was a bit... <laughs> That was a bit scary there, buddy. Okay, so let's go through the garage. Has the maid delivered my vehicle? Let's take a look. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there she is. The beauty, the beauty, guys. Oh, my days. We have the good old Lamborghini. The Lamborghini, guys. Check it out. It's red. I mean, come on. I love the color red. Red, Fred. I mean, <laughs> it makes sense. But check out the interior. We've got the Lamborghini interior, the Lamborghini mirrors, the dashboard, the steering wheel. It's the Lamborghini, guys. Check it out. We're living good. We're living been good in this game. And now it's time to go to Los Santos where I can finally show you guys the movie studio which DJ Mike T works in on a daily basis. Don't forget the T guys. It's DJ Mike T. <laughs> Let's go dude. Ah, just in time. Can you let me in please? I'm DJ Mike T. I I'm one of the most famous, excuse me, I'm a famous movie director. Let me in. <laughs> 
What is this guy playing at, dude? Okay, it is what it is. I'll just go inside myself. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing, dude. Yeah, don't don't try and go after me. I'm the most famous movie director. <laughs> He's like walking out to my vehicle and everything. Uh, so yeah, we got loads of things going on right now. Look, we have a scene going on over there. Let me show you guys this scene actually. Um, don't don't follow me about, dude. Don't follow me about. <laughs> Ooh, this looks like it's gonna be a good scene. So basically, these green screens can be transformed into anything we want to. So let's say, for example, we want to have like a stormy night or something. We can transform that into a stormy night, guys. So, you know, it's a green screen with a boat in the water. But all of a sudden, it's in a stormy sea and there's thunder coming everywhere, guys. And the waves are huge and stuff. Well, maybe not huge. The waves don't change, but the background does. You guys get the idea. <laughs> it's such a cool job. Literally, our mind, our imagination can be projected into all of this, guys. It's great. I love it. Oh, my days. What's happened over there? Guys, what have you done? What have you done to him? Oh, my days. This must be the Purge 3 or something, guys. So they actually have a TV here. Mm, okay, okay, so they're ready to film and everything. What's going on? What have you done to him? <laughs> guys, who is this guy? Is this Laszlo? Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's Laszlo. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Carry on, carry on, guys. Carry on. Three, two, one. Action. Nice. I love it. I love it, guys. Yes, keep it up. So, yeah, let's say I want to transform this scene into, like, a stormy night again. We can do. Or even, even a snowy day, you know? We could transform this into a snowy day. You know, ice crystals falling from the sky. You know, anything you want to, guys. Actually, guys, I just realized my editor controls what goes on the green screen. So if anything comes up, which I would not normally add onto the green screen, I do apologize, especially if you have to see my giant forehead. <laughs> Let's keep moving. So this is actually an action area. You know, if we want to uh, make this into an action movie, then maybe they took out Laszlo and suddenly they run through here and now they're in a vault. They're in a bank vault, guys. Check it out. Look how crazy that is. And you can literally add anything you want to. We could make this just a neighborhood and they have just broken into the bank vault and they're about to take the gold. I mean, you guys get the idea. You guys get the idea, right? We can do anything we want to with this. It's amazing. Uh, there's lots of gold in here to take as well. Is this real? <laughs> Probably not. I think it's just prop gold. And look at this. They even have like a bank area and stuff. Wow. Dude, this is the Pacific Standard. This is like part of the Pacific Standard Bank. So you can make an entire movie scene here. Like you can hold up the bank. You can go around here, take the money and run outside into a neighborhood. I mean, that's amazing. That's actually amazing, dude. Actually, hang on. There's like this tunnel, which is like an inside of a submarine. Oh, cool. This is brilliant. And it takes you down into like a work area, which is its own separate room. So from the side, you wouldn't think any different. So you guys get the idea, right? It is pretty much the coolest job to have in GTA 5. And this is where everyone works. You know, it's the research team, the editing team, the directing team. Everyone on the movie works in here, guys, and they create some amazing masterpieces. Honestly, it's amazing. And all we do is fund the entire thing. <laughs> That's what DJ Mike T does, and we take a cut at the end, guys. It's quite a nice living, you know, apart from the risks and everything. So yeah, that's my daytime job. It's how we direct and produce all of the movies, guys, and uh, it's an entire movie set. What can I say? It's pretty epic. And moving on down here, there's a few other places which I would love to show off. Oh, hang on. Was there an entrance in there? It's really down to what's being rolled on the day. Like, sometimes they've got a movie going on and we're not really allowed to go around because everyone needs to be quiet. So a lot of things around here seem to be closed off, actually, unfortunately. Oh, man. Man, no! I was so hoping to be able to show you guys the rest of it. That's fine. That's fine. I'll show you guys my second house. <laughs> it's in the Vinewood Hills. It's pretty nice. And last but not least, guys, how could I forget the second mansion which DJ Mike T owns? Check it out, dude. Look at the view. <laughs> I didn't even realize it would be possible to build a mansion as epic as this. But honestly, this guy is all the money in the world, guys. Trust me, if you need anything built, DJ Mike T has done it already, guys. I mean, look at it. He's got gold blocks on his actual gate on both sides. How much money does this guy have? Let's go inside anyway. Yeah, we don't care about that gate. We'll just go straight into it. And uh, let's go inside my garage. There's quite a few supercars in there. You know, just about $10 million worth of cars. <laughs> and including my Lamborghini, which is now parked inside there, guys. So yeah, we have lots and lots of vehicles. We do love our vehicles. And inside the house, you know, it's quite nice. You know, it's not too big, but it's still pretty big, actually, to be honest. We got a lounge area around here. <laughs> lots and lots of windows. And look at that view over Los Santos. I mean, check it out, dude. And up there, oh, up there, that's my garden. <laughs> yeah, I extended the house like that just so I could have a garden, guys. Yeah, I know I have a front garden, but we got to get a back garden, guys. It only cost me like $50 million to do. <laughs> anyway, guys, moving upstairs from the games room and the lounge. Let me show you guys the upstairs area. So the upstairs area is equally as good. You know, look at that hallway going straight down. This screams prestige to me, guys. Like, honestly, DJ Mike has made it. 
<laughs> We've even got a bar as well and someone attending to the bar. Oh my days, dude. Okay, so let's go through this door. What do you have through this one, Mike? Look, he's got his own DJ set. This is what he does in his spare time, I guess. That's why he's called DJ Mike. That makes so much sense, Mike. <laughs> a back-to-back -back sofa as well, because why not, guys? I mean, have you ever seen that in GTA 5? No, I don't think so. Anyway, moving through here is the guest bedroom. They have a shower, a bath, you know, an entire bathroom. They even have a setup over there and a bed and a TV over here as well, guys, with an amazing view of the, of the museum over there. I mean, check it out, dude. And of course, the east and the west of Los Santos. And moving back through here, <laughs> let's go back through the doors. On the other side, can you guys guess what it's going to be? Can you guys guess? <laughs> go on, I want you guys to guess. On the other side is another bedroom. This is where we sleep. I prefer the view. We get to see Los Santos, you know, Maze Bank, all of those amazing towers. And we got a sofa as well with some champagne because uh, why not, guys? With DJ Mike T. <laughs> and moving back through here, guys, let's go down the corridor. We have an elevator, we have a cinema room because why not, guys? On this side, there's also a few other rooms, a toilet, not much to see here. In the other room, there's also... Wait, what's this door? Mike, what is through here, dude? Oh, c Mike! <laughs> Mike, what are you doing in your spare time? I am lost with this. I thought he was a movie director. Clearly, he does something else. <laughs> Clearly so, guys, because I have no idea why I'm seeing these rooms. What do we have through here, then, Mike? Oh, just the laundry room. Okay. <laughs> just the laundry room next to the security room. And, uh, ooh, there's a keypad on that one. That room must be important. Uh, hello? <laughs> hello, is anyone in here? <laughs> What's through here? Oh, it's an office with a map of Los Santos. Dude, are you trying to, like, cause world domination or something? Like, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on, Mike? What are you doing? There's a lounge over here so we can watch TV and relax. And there's a desk over here so we can count our money and talk about world domination. So, yeah, that's basically everything inside my house. But I haven't showed you guys outside the house. And trust me, it gets way better, guys. It gets way better. <laughs> I'm going to take the elevator. Let's use that. Um, does this work then? Do we just... Oh, here we go. Yeah, we go inside. And I think we're upstairs. Yep, we're upstairs. Nice. <laughs> Check it out, my golden helicopter. We have two of them, guys. A swimming pool in the middle of the roof. I mean, come on. I mean, come on, guys. Does it get more luxurious than this? I don't think so. I don't think so, guys. There's a barbecue running over there, a tree over there, another tree over there. Why on earth? Oh, my days, dude. He even got trees up here. <laughs> this is crazy. Statues, guards, a uh, basketball court as well. And uh, around here is another sofa area, guys. So this is the life of a movie producer, DJ Mike T. Which house was your favorite? What do you think of the studio? Let me know in the comments below, guys. And if you enjoyed the episode, be sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe as well, guys. It's free and you won't miss out on more stuff like this on a daily basis. And if there's anything else you want to see me do in GTA 5, comment your idea in the comments below. And never know, guys, your idea might make it into another video. But guys, thanks for watching. My name is Nort, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much to these amazing people for becoming a member of the channel. If you guys would like to have your name randomly selected and featured at the end of every video, just like these amazing people, then press the join button just below this video and become a member of the channel today. And feel free to watch another video. There's two on the screen right now. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.